Hello Gunpla fans, today it's Speedball Horror and today I'm doing an unboxing, well if not one, but of three eight Gundam Age model kits for the hashtag decade of Gundam Age that Kurosama is doing to promote the Gundam Age series. And so I decided I will do my own set of Age kits as well to support it. And in doing so I did a vote the other day to see what people would like to see and I surprising enough it ended in a tie between the Gundam Age Spoilos I have here and my and the Dragon Ball Moko Gun, Gundam Age 1 Titus Cannon so I decided instead of doing separately I decided I'll just do all the unboxings this video and just do uh, two separate videos for the Gunpla Clash Spallows and the regular Gundam review of Titus Cannon. So, let's move this over. As you can see here, this is the regular Bandai Gundam Age 1 Spallow. And if you didn't notice, this is actually the original color brand of it instead of the re release that they've had. So, that's pretty. So, I'm glad for that. So, I'll take a quick look at the box art. You guys can take a look really quick. So yeah, that one. And of course, like I said, this is from Dragon Momoko. Bef well, before they uh, shut down. So as you can see, because what makes this one different is this new backpack section, as you can see right here. That's pretty cool. And of course, since Dragon Momoko did release their own line of high-grade age kits, these would be them right here. Now, the only one I never got was the regular Titus that they had. I just, honestly, to be, I couldn't find it, for one, and I just didn't really want it, because I already really wanted it with a custom variant, which luckily I did find. Let's see. All the way... And, of course, that includes this one here, this Spoilo. Because this is an interesting variant because uh, the ver the Dramamoko versions all had a... Most of them had a customized version that they wanted to do. And this one wasn't really, like, a big custom because it's more or less just weapon sets that they just added onto it. I'll have to... Uh, I'll probably find out by the review what weapon sets exactly because i believe though offhand i believe these are mostly kotobukiya weapon sets and such that they added to this one and i'm not sure but that possibly the same for the titus but let's start with this one because pretty much the runners and parts for uh, the age kits here are all going to be the same as bandai's and being that this one is Bandai's. <laughs> so, of course, you got the A Run Runner. Let's see. We got the H Runner. Huh. You can see the J Runner. And, of course, this one has the bladed part for the weapon. And, of course, the <laughs> polycaps, as you can see them. And lastly, the eye runner, specifically more or less the parts that makes the swallow in this set, pretty much. And of course, just to show it, the manual, front, back, and such. And I believe, yeah, there it is. The, of course, the included sticker sheet. Nothing, not bad. Pretty small, just the eyes, the age system, and just the blade. That's pretty good, actually, to see. All right. Let's put these back. And let's look at his counterpart. Let's move this one out of the way for a sec. And see. Uh, let's see. This is the parts of the chest and the head. This is, of course... The as they call it the A runner, but this is pretty much the leg parts and such. In fact, let me see something. Let's take a look. Yep, 
it's pretty much almost identical to their to Bandai's. It's just some parts are different, it seems. Hmm. Interesting. And of course, here's the head sections. There, chest, and so on. Oh, but this one's new for this kit, and that's the bladed sections. And these are all in clear. Wow, even the... Wow, that's actually interesting. This is actually the, the Swallow's blade right here. This part right here. See? I can get that on there, and it's actually in clear plastic. Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. Because, of course, body cap. Let's see. Ah. The Spalos parts. Let's see. Oh, let's see this one. Ah, chest section, of course. <laughs> pretty much no difference there. But here's one major difference right here. And that is the parts sections for the extra weapons and such, like these big daggers right here. And now we're back to regular parts. Let's see. Hmm. Actually, huh. Wait a minute. This section looks like... Yeah, I think it is. It's parts from the H1, the regular version, because I don't... Because the Spallow, the regular Spallow doesn't have this runner for certain parts. And what I mean is like this one right here. These these look like parts to the dot, to the rifle that the H1 uses. And of course there's the shield, which the Spallow that I, that it doesn't come with. Huh. Interesting. So it looks like this Spallow will have extras. And lastly, more legs and such. Oh, oops, I don't want those falling. Not that. And of course, lastly, the chest, head, and neck sections, of course. Like that there. And here's its sticker sheet. Pretty much about the same, but it looks like they do have a couple extra ones right here. So I'm not sure if there's going to be anything needed or anything different for certain sections, but we'll, you know, I'll know soon enough. And of course, here's. The manual this one comes with it shows you the two variations of course for the weapons and of course as you can see back quick look at so you can guys so all of you can take a good look at pretty cool definitely gonna be interested to build okay, let's put these back Let's take a quick look over at the Titus. Because a lot of people really were wanting to know more about this guy. Because unfortunately, the one thing I must mention is that most of the uh, Dragon Momoko age kits are not easy to come by. I'm not lying. They're almost impossible to find. I should know. I mean, I've, got, I've had these for a few years but that was only because I hunted them down after when the shutdown for Dragon Moco began. So I grabbed them as many as I could and got lucky and found Titus. I mean, that was literally, that was the one at heart. took me the longest to find. You got chest section, head, in a different color. So that's interesting. Even his chin, huh? And of course, here's the major difference. Not just the... Now, what I mean is in parts-wise, but as in color-wise, as you can see, this is definitely a Zaku green. So that's definitely interesting. Let's see what else. And, oh, here we go. Huh, it's the same runner. Okay, so it looks like when Dragon Mocha released their age units, they reused, it looks like a lot of runner sections from the regular age one. Because this is the same one. So that's interesting. Here's his poly caps. And of course, his chest section, which is it it's the identical runner setup as the Spallows, so interesting. Of course. Head parts, V fin, such just like Spallows as well, looks like. And let's see. Oh wait, okay, here let's first look at this. Huh. Okay, this is interesting. This is the neck uh skirting and chest section of the titus but in a very bright orange 
I, huh, which doesn't actually make sense for this kit, meaning because, of one second, let me get it out real quick, ah, there it is, let's take a quick look, because if you notice on, your ma on the manual here, the, those sections I just mentioned are in yellow, I mean, even all the way around, I mean, it's, I don't know, no pictures, I don't know, but as you can see from here, those sections are supposed to be yellow, huh, or at least a darker yellow, it looks like, sort of like a Gundam yellow, it looks like, but as you can, uh, well, clearly see, it's in complete orange, it's like a bright, almost neon orange in a sense, huh, interesting, all right, well, before we get to the main part of him, of course, you got his legs, and I might as well do this quick. Same sticker sheet, it looks like, as the Swallows, v fin, Eyes, H System, and those leg sections, which, if I'm not mistaken, I believe those are actually from one of the other H units kits, because I don't think this guy would have that section for those. But then again, it's been a while since I've built one, so I could be wrong. But lastly, of course, then the re and one of the big reasons why you want this kit is the backpack parts, as you can see right here. Pretty much, I believe this section is just the tightest itself, and pretty much if you cut the runner right here, these would be all the cannon parts that you see right there and such. So yeah, huh, interesting. Definitely liking it, because honestly, if you ask me, the Titus looks a lot better with a cannon pack. It just, you know, it's a brute type and such. You figure it would have a powerful bazooka or a side weapon like that for fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's interesting. Definitely glad, definitely like. Definitely wish that we could get more of them like this. I mean, honestly, this would be a fun kit for fans. I know if a lot of age fans would definitely love a kit like this, or at least, you know, something equivalent. So yeah, as you can see. But yeah, like I said, these were the Age 1 Dragon Momoko kit variant customs they released. And like I said, unfortunately, they have not really released any of their kits in a long time, even after their return and such like that. So sadly, if you are looking for one of these two at least, and the other one I have, it's going to be a very big challenge. I won't lie to you guys. It's a challenge. I was lucky. I won't lie. But no, I'm, but as always, I'm glad that I was able to get these ones for you guys to see. Because it seems that the Titus Cannon hasn't gotten that much attention, even after its original release, it doesn't look like. So I'm glad I can show you guys. But no, I'm really glad for all of these kits. And of course, like I said, what I will be doing is once I have them all built... I will do separate videos for each. What I'll be doing, of course, is a Gunpla Clash video comparing the two Swallows, so you guys can see the differences, their likes, dif their dislikes, and their what's better about them and what's you know worse, or which one's better, and so on. <laughs> so that's going to be an interesting, and of course that, and then of course I will most likely do this guy in a separate video, so you guys can just. Well, have fun enjoy looking at him and seeing all the details I can tell you about him. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's about it. And, of course, I like to say, as always, thank you all for coming. Hope you're all safe. Families are doing good. And, of course, enjoying your hobby. But, of course, I like to add for this one, I hope those that are age fans... Or have yet to look well if those who have yet to experience age consider checking out some of age, the decade of Gundam age videos posts and such like that so they can get an experience of what the Gundam age series is because hopefully one other Gundam age kit I should be getting this month will be the tri age Gundam hopefully <laughs> I can't tell you but still so I like to finally say I thank you all for coming and well, I hope you consider checking out some Gundam Age kits, because I'm glad I did.